Hey, what is up everyone and welcome back to the second episode of the Roblox Ultimate Scripting Guide. Today we're going to be going over functions. So buckle up and let's get started. If you are currently enjoying the series, please leave a like and comment down below on what you would like to see next. I am also fairly active on Twitter and on my Discord server, so if you have any questions or if you just want to talk to me, feel free to follow me on Twitter or join my Discord server. So to get started, let's open up uh, Roblox Studio and insert a script into server script service or anywhere that you would like and name anything you want. Let's go over today's topic, functions. So for the most part, functions are used uh, to repeat sections of code without having to type it over again. And it's one of the fundamental principles of programming in general to avoid repeating yourself when you have already done something before. Functions are created using the function keyword followed by the name of your function. So I'm just going to name mine my function as well as two uh, parentheses or well, a set of parentheses. Once you press enter, Roblox Studio will automatically add an end to your function, which is where the function ends. Within these parentheses, you can put anything you want. Um, these are called parameters and these are items that are going to be used by your function um, that might change outside of it. So this would usually be something like a player um, or maybe their name or maybe their character, uh, maybe some sort of team, uh, something like that. That may not always be the same all the time. So for my example, I'm just going to be using a very generic variable sum number. Now, you don't need to create this variable anywhere inside your script. You will notice that I have it in here uh, and it's not giving me an error for anything. Um, this is only just a placeholder and, and something that you will need to fill in after you declare your function and start to use it. So within here, I'm just going to do something very simple and I'm just going to say print some number. Now to call a function, you simply type the name of the function. So in my case, it's my function and it will automatically fill in the two parentheses. And within the parentheses, uh, you will need to put in uh, the same number of variables um, or the same number of arguments in this case uh, to fill it in. When they are in the function, they are called parameters. And when they are called, they are called arguments. I know it's very confusing. You don't necessarily need to know that. It's just something that you might hear in the development space. So in my case, I use some number and it prints it out. So I'm just going to put 3.14. Technically, this function would also work for anything else. Um, because this variable in here right now is not checked for any specific type. So I could actually put something like um, cat or beans, or I could even put like a uh, an object like workspace, and it would probably still work. Uh, but for simplicity's sake, we will just keep it as some number. So we're going to hit run. And we see that it prints out 3.14. So another function of functions is the returning. So what, um, one other keyword that people will typically see in a function is the, is the keyword return. So the return function essentially ends and exits the function without continuing on uh, underneath. And what returns usually will be followed by are some, is some sort of result. Uh, whether that is a number, whether that is a specific player, or anything like that in between, it can be any value that can be returned. Um, and you'll typically see it inside functions as a way of sort of giving the the, the script like, hey, uh, I've calculated everything, here's the result, and that's all you need to know. So you don't need to repeat yourself every time you run the code, and you always get the result. So. Uh, to give you a little bit of an, of an example, I'm going to create a function called sum numbers, and we'll use number one and number two. And what we will do is that we will simply return number one plus number two. So what this function will do when it's called is that it will take one number, the first number, the second number, which is the second number, and it will return the result of it, which is number one plus number two. And we will simply call it by calling by typing some numbers and we will say one and two. And we can even include this inside a print statement if we wanted to, just so we can actually see the result. 
So we have some numbers of 1 and 2, and when we hit run, we should see 3. Perfect. So that is going to be it for this episode, but I have my second scripting challenge for you, which is a very, very basic calculator. So I've already started this by creating the function sum numbers, but now I want you to do the same thing for subtraction, multiplication, and division. I also want you to call the function multiple times and output the results in print. But that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my name is Mac and Swiss, the most Asian brony on the internet, and I'll see you all next time.